Mr. Weiss, good evening and welcome. Thank you. Uh, sorry about my penmanship, but in, uh, anyway. That's quite all right. I get okay. all kinds up here, trust okay. me. Okay. Um, I just have a, a brief statement that I sort of pinned. Um, okay, so 78 years ago, before Char Charlottesville's United the Right rally in uh, Charlottesville, 22,000 American Nazis rallied at the Man Madison uh, Square Garden on February 20th, 1939. So you had this big rally in New York, and one of the um, um, people in the audience went up to the podium, um, and he got severely beaten um, by oh, uh, some Nazis, and, and it was a very big riot. It was considered one of the largest riots uh, in U.S. history uh, that was caused by neo-Nazis. Um, this big rally in New York was followed um, one year earlier in Germany. There was a two-day anti-Semitic program called uh, Crystal Night. And it, two days of Jewish people in Germany uh, being beaten and killed and windows in stores being uh, um, smashed and the point is, is that anti-Semitism doesn't just stop at those two events. It's gone on for the last 40 or 50 years, and we're seeing the resurgence of anti-Semitism in Rhode Island. And according to the Projo in 2017, the New England chapter of the Anti-Deformation League said at least 13 incidents of, they recorded 13 incidents of anti-Semitism in Rhode Island. It's a local problem, okay? Um, and, and some of these places you may know, the Jewish Community Day Center, um, they had uh, um, swastikas were found at Broad Rock Middle School in South Kingston. Um, swastikas were carved in buildings in Providence. And uh, they were put on signs along the East uh, Bay bike path. I live in Oak Hill, Rhode Island, and a two-minute walk from my house is a Jewish synagogue on East Avenue, and a sign was totally covered with uh, Nazi swastikas. So it hits home to me that there is sort of an issue because I'm Jewish. And these signs are put throughout the state, um, and um, I wonder what I would do if I was on the street in Germany in 1938, seeing all those windows broken, or what would I do in Madison Square Garden uh, in 1939? Would I have the courage or, or the gumption to go up to somebody dressed in a black, a, a brown shirt in a swastika band and stop him from hitting an elderly Jew? Would, 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 I don't know, you know? Um, those are dangerous times, and they're getting to be dangerous times now. I mean, I hope I would stand up. We don't see enough from the national level, from our national government, strongly opposing this philosophy of neo-Nazis and uh, um, white supremacists. So that's why I'm here today, to testify for it. We, I came, I, last year I asked my senator to put a bill in, and there were some issues, and it got put for further study. I, as a columnist, I write for two newspapers, the uh, um, um, Pawtucket Times and the Woonsocket Call. I cover aging, healthcare, and medical issues, and last year I wrote an article interviewing Morris Nathanson. Uh, he, he was in his 90-year-old man who was very upset about Charlottesville. So I wrote an article about uh, standing up, taking a stand against um, um, neo-Nazis and anti-Semitism. And I'm here today. I, I may not know what I would have done 30 or 40 or 50 years ago, but I'm here today making a stand. And I hope that you will consider taking a stand against neo-Nazi philosophy white nationalist philosophy of hatred. I hope that you support Rhode Island's uh, being the birthplace of religious diversity because these groups don't support religious diversity. There is no problem with the ACLU. This is a bad thing. You got to stop it. You got to send a strong message that you oppose it. And I hope that you'll support my senator's bill, Senate Bill 829. Thank you very much for your testimony. Senator Matz. Yes, it was an 
I think it was a German, it was a theologian uh, around that time. Um, and I, I, I can't remember exactly. I think it was Diedrich Bonhoeffer. I'll, I'll have to ask my pastor again. But I, the quote that I remember said, they came after the unions and I said nothing. They came after the group this group and I said nothing. They came after that group and I said, I, he listed the groups mm, and then quote. they came for me and there was no one left to say anything. And I, I'll have to look that quote up because it was very pow uh, powerful. And, it, it, you know, one of, the, one of the verses I read, it says, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. That's uh, Ephesians 5.11. So we're to expose certain things and I, uh, maybe about five years ago, I went with the State Council of Churches on a civil uh, rights tour. We started, we flew from Providence to Atlanta, we went to Birmingham, Birmingham. we went to Montgomery, Selma, we hit all the places. And I believe it was in Montgomery, I can't think of the name of the organization, but they look up the hate groups. And I shouldn't have been surprised, but they had several hate groups here in Rhode Island, in the northern part of the state, which... Uh, which amazed me because maybe, uh, you, you know, but they have to, they, we really do have to expose it because uh, I, I always like to say it's love, not, not hate, that's going to make America great. So I, 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 certainly I commend your center, but I, can, I commend you because certainly this, stuff, this type of stuff has to be exposed because we do have a, a great country. We have these different liberties and we, try, we have to do our best to be as tolerant as we can to everybody and even even today in this climate where you can't uh, you know people go they, they pull we polarize ourselves to, to either extreme rather than trying to work toward the middle and I, I think it's just just we're, we're in a time where it, it's just you know the tension and the and the hatred it's 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 it's, it's ungodly and it's very uh, disconcerting it's very concerning to me but even when you disagree, that's why I like Senator Nestle Bush. We agree almost on everything. But uh, there's a couple of things we don't agree on, but she always treats me and my views with respect. I, I, I admire you, Senator, and, and I try to do the same thing to her. And we just wish we could send our formula down to Washington and we'd be in good shape. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Senator Matt.